Watch this video if you want 2024 to be the best year of your life. I can't believe 2023 is coming to an end and 2024 is only in two weeks. This means we have to start resetting and prepping so that we can have the best year of our lives because we only get one year of 2024 so might as well make it the best one yet. Honestly, there's just so much I need to reflect on because 2023 was both a chaotic but like really really fun year at the same time. But anyways, today's video I'm going to be giving you guys ultimate reset guide to level up for 2024. The first step of starting 2024 is getting into the right mindset. Having the best year of your life is just a huge mindset thing. Honestly, the art of manifestation coming into play. ChatGPT said that manifestation is the process of bringing something into existence through thoughts, beliefs, and actions. It is often associated with the idea that focusing on positive or specific thoughts can attract positive outcomes or desired experiences into one's life. And I know that sounds really witchy and like, fancy but it's honestly just whatever thoughts you think if they become your reality so you want to reaffirm good thoughts into your head to have the most positive outcome and if you guys want a more in-depth video on manifestation make sure to comment down below and i'll definitely do that so for example if i always believe that i am always the most confident i will just reaffirm that in my head and say i'm so confident no one's more confident than me. Obviously, that sounds really, really cocky, but I promise you that it works. Versus someone that says, I am not confident. I am so insecure. Obviously, that down spiral and make you feel really sad and depressed. In 2024, we really, really want to fix our mindset so that positive things can come to us. But before we go on into planning the future, I believe that it's really, really important that we reflect on this year. I'm going to do this with you guys because I have a lot of reflecting to do. So on a piece of paper or a notepad or whatever you want to write, I want you guys to list five things that you are really, really proud of that you achieved this year. It could be five habits, big goals, it could be wellness, anything that you feel like, even if it's not like the biggest goal, I want you to write five of them on the sheet of paper. On the same sheet of paper, I also want you to write five things that you weren't so proud of maybe five habits that you started really strong in january but then neglected as you moved on lastly on the sheet of paper i want you to write five things that will make 2024 great it could be 24 24 would be really really great if i got married or 2024 would be a really really great year if i got straight a's or like something like that and we are going to use those ambitions to later create our vision board just hits so different so that's what i did um, i just wrote down five things it was super easy super simple and i hope you guys did too here are five things that i was really really proud of the first thing that i'm so proud of this year was that i hit 1k on youtube which is so crazy it's a huge milestone like your first a thousand next i collaborated with one of my dream brand which is emil i actually bought so much clothes with emil before so collaborating with them and, said, and having them so close to me was another surreal moment and i'm so so happy my third one is i made like money from like paid collabs and that was something i would never thought of getting like receiving pr from brands like you told me a year ago i would probably have dropped dead and then four is i got pretty pretty good grades like on my further part i mean i think i did pretty good this year a few things that i was not very proud of was my journaling habits like i used to journal every single day in like january like i said but then as time went on i just stopped you know journaling and i'm not very very proud of that at whatsoever another thing i wasn't proud of is is i stopped being consistent posting on youtube i used to post once every week but now i post once a month so that is not very consistent of me and i really need to step up my game and do a little bit better especially for you guys next one is i stopped doing duolingo because it was so boring and i honestly hate that owl but I do really, really want to learn a second language and think French is a great language as I'm learning it at school as well. Five things that will make my year a little bit better was I will get into IB because I really, really want to get into IB because the benefits of getting into ID, IB is so amazing. I get to like skip first year at uni, which would be really nice because I heard it's like really, really hard. I talked way too long about this, 
but when writing your reflections, try to consider your relationships, academic, mental, physical health, financials, and achievements and challenges in order to have a really well-rounded reflection so we can make 2024 greater. The thing I plan to do in order to have the best 2024 is honestly fixing my headspace because right now I just feel like I have a really cluttered mind. A great way to do this is honestly to fix the environment around you. That could be by cleaning, but not just physically, like also digitally. We often follow a lot of people that don't actually bring us joy, but instead anxiety or like comparison. As like a young creator, I could often see myself comparing with other people that may just have more views, have more more collabs, just have a better life than I do from the outside. This year, I want to try to, instead of focusing on other people, focus on myself. So before I even start cleaning out my hectic room, I want to start by unfollowing a lot of people that make me feel bad or no longer bring me joy. So yeah, I recommend you guys do the same. If a creator's content triggers you, no longer inspires you, or gives you value, this is a sign to quickly unfollow them, and I promise you they won't even notice. I have followed some people and I'm really happy because I realized I follow so many people with like good outfits but just makes me feel bad because my outfits are so lame. Now that we fix our digital environment, let's start by fixing like our physical environment because my room is a really big mess. At least for me, if I'm seeing something dirty or like messy, I'll instantly be put in a bad mood. Anyway, so I'm going to start cleaning up. I just realized this, but I also did not make my bed this morning, which was another goal 2023. But obviously, I did not do that, and I'm slightly disappointed in myself, but I need to remind myself and everybody watching this to like not beat up yourself, even if you don't get your goals done, because there's so many years coming, so there's always another day for you to try. I'm related, but look how cute the fit is today. I feel like my room is slightly cleaner and I could focus a little bit better because honestly before it was such a little hectic mess. Now that we reflected on the new year, we got ourselves in the right mind space and we are ready to honestly set our goals and create our vision board which is my favorite part because creating vision board is not only so fun but you just get inspired so so easily and then you just have a surge of excitement for the new year it's also a nice excuse to just scroll on pinterest because that's literally my favorite app let me just log into my laptop right now and let's just get started Every year I literally do the same thing. So basically I want you guys to open Notion. Notion is like a free checklist app if you've never heard of it. But it's literally the app that's gonna change your life. So download that right now. Or if you are on a computer, just go to notion.so. This was my home page this year. This is my vision board. We are going to add a page and make a little aesthetic Notion page for 2024. Because 2024 deserves a cute Notion page. Think of like a realistic number that you can create of goals because you really don't want to overwhelm yourself because last year I made like 30 goals and I literally did like 10 which wasn't the best but how did I expect myself to achieve 30 goals in a year? That is just crazy. So this year I'm making it more realistic but I'm saying this like realistic number of goals. But make your goals unrealistic like let's be a little delusional here because we don't want to sell ourselves short and we really really want to shoot for the moon because if you don't land it you just end up falling on the stars so we're gonna shoot on the moon and make really unrealistic goals and even if we don't achieve it we probably did better than we thought we would i heard from this podcast that like if you set your unrealistic goal to make five million dollars if you only made one million that's still better than what you would have made if you set your goal up for like one thousand dollars if you know what i mean I have for you guys is make sure your goals are really specific like sure they could be really unrealistic but make them specific let's say you want to own a property say like I want to own an apartment in Malibu I want a ocean view 
window. I don't know. Just make it really, really specific because we really, really want to tell the universe all of our specific details because otherwise it will just fill in the blanks for us and it might just not be what we want. I just finished typing them down on my little Notion page, but I'm not going to share with you guys because I really don't want to jinx it. Next step is once you have all your goals written down, you want to go into Pinterest and find pictures that you associate with your goals. Like for example, let's say I really want to get like 10 brand deals or like get some PR. I can find pictures of like PR or like whatever and put that on my vision board. I feel like all the YouTubers are doing like the same videos. So you guys probably heard of this already, but if not, let me just walk you through it. Okay, so this is like my Pinterest like for you page. So you just want to find pictures of your goals that you like. And then you're going to go to an app called Canva. And I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this app, but it's my favorite app to create vision boards because it's so easy. So here's Canva. And you're going to click on create a design and you're going to choose one that is like the phone wallpaper if you're going to do for your phone. But I prefer to do it on my laptop. So there's usually um, like a presentation. I think. No, I think it's presentation. That is how usually how big your desktop is. So you're going to add your pictures in here. You could just create a really, really nice collage. And then we could set it up on our wallpaper so that we always see it and that we always affirm those things. Yeah. board turned out i'm really really happy with the way it looks i think it looks really really aesthetic and i would love if everything came true on this board but yeah i highly encourage you guys to also create a vision board hopefully you guys are doing it with me vision board is just so powerful because because we pick up our phones quite often like i pick up my phone probably 50 times a day and also on a computer whenever you log on you can see your home screen it just really reaffirms in your brain and even if you might not notice it or whatever your subconscious definitely does anyways that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching and i just want to once again remind you that you are you are capable of doing anything you set your mind to with those positive words ending this video i hope you guys have a good day and remember to think happy thoughts i love you guys and happy new year